Hello friends. So once again, welcome to my channel. And here we will continue our discussion on direct mapped cache memory. So already we have started these things I have discussed. So see, last video we have concluded that more than one memory block is mapped onto the same position in the cache. And that we have shown here in this diagram, like block 0, block 128, 256. Wherever my remainder will come as 0, modular result will be 0, will map to block number 0 of the cache. Like that, this light green color, block 1, block 129, 257, whose uh, modulus result is 1, will be mapped to block number 1 in the cache. Then this, like this, for every block uh, till 127, each of them will map to block 0 to 127. Then block 127 will be mapped to block 127 of the cache, right? So here, see, now see the big point here is block, suppose block 0 is present in the cache memory, right? And that time we require block 256. After some time, we require data from block 256. So block 256 will not be there in the cache. Why? Because 256 and block 0 has got the same position in the cache. So in one position, one block can be there in the cache at a time. So right now block 0 is there. So block 256 will not be there. So what do we have to do? What we have to do is we need to remove this block 0 from the cache and then we will bring 256 at its place. That we need to do. Even though the cache memory other blocks are supposed not filled up. Suppose they are empty. Then also as my uh, that mapping function is giving me a fixed position. So for every position of the, for every block of the main memory, cache memory position is fixed. Due to that, even though the cache memory is not completely full, then also there may be, there will be a contention, right? So see, may lead to contention for cache blocks, even if the cache is not full. This is that example I have shown you, right? Another is when there is a contention, what is my solution? Replacement. So to resolve the contention, what we have to do? Uh, by allowing the new block to replace the old block. So this block 0 will go back to main memory and 256 will come at this position. So see, whenever I am bringing a new block into the cache memory, then uh, whenever, whenever I am bringing this 256 into the cache, whom to remove or whom to replace that decision is already fixed that be because 256 will come at block position 0 only so whosoever is sitting at block 0 that particular block will be replaced will be sent back to the cache main memory so because of that it says that allowing new block to replace the old block so that position is fixed leading to a trivial replacement algo trivial means i know right which block i need to remove I need not have to think much. I need not have to apply any algo. I know whom to replace. So simply that block will be sent back to the main memory and the incoming block will take its position. Right? So that already I have discussed because we have taken 16 bytes in my 16 words in a block. So what field was your 4 bit? That means to get a data item inside a block, we require 4 bit offset. 4 bit word field. And in the cache memory, how many blocks were there? 128. So express it in powers of 2. This is 7 bits. When a new block is brought into the cache, the next 7 bits determine which cache block this new block is going to be placed in. Right? Then higher order, the 5 bits determine which of the possible 32 blocks is currently present in the cache. Where from I will get that? From the tag bits. So for this particular address, one tag bit will be there. That is here 5 bits. And that tag will be matched with block 0's tag. If it is a, uh, the comparison operation results me success, as well as valid bit is 1, then only it is a hit, else it is a miss. Else it is a miss. So it is very easy to implement, but not very flexible. How it is not flexible? Though the cache is not full, then also we need to do replacement, right? Because we are fixing the position of each of the blocks of main memory in the cache, right? So it is quite, uh, it is not flexible, right? 
then we will do some numerical. Now we will start with the numericals. So a computer system uses 16 bit memory address the way we did the last example. Then 2K byte cache right in a direct mapped manner uh, with 64 bytes per cache block. Assume that the main memory size is main memory one word is one byte. That means my machine is byte addressable and all. So see how many bit address I will generate processor will generate a 16 bit address right. It has got three parts. What are those? Word field, word field, then block field, and then the tag bit, right? This is block and then the tag. So how many bits will go to word field? That depends on the block size. And it will be same for the cache memory as well as main memory. So here it is given, it is 64 bytes. So to store 64 bytes, how many bit offset do I require? 2 to the power 6 is 64. So word field will be 6. And then how many blocks are there in the cache? In the cache, 2k byte total location is there. 2k. 2k means 2 to the power 11. By what? Block size. Number of words in the number of locations in the cache divided by size of a block. That is what? 2 to the power 6. So answer will be 5. Right? 11 minus 6 is 5. And what was the total length? Total length was 16. So 16 minus 5 plus 6 will be the length of tag bits. So see here the solution is given. Block size is 64 bytes that is 2 to the power 60 bytes. 16 words because 1 word equal to 1 byte. So, so total number of bits in the word field, will, word field will be 6. The next is cache size is 2k bytes that is 2 to the power 11. Number of blocks will be what? Size of cache memory divided by block size that is 2 to the power 5. So block field value will come as 5 bits. Now see Total number of bits is 16. So what is tag field? Tag field will be total minus 6 minus 5. That is nothing but 5 bits. That means 32 blocks of the main memory will occupy the same position in the cache. So for a given 16 bit address, 5 significant bits represent the tag. Next 5 bits will represent the block. And the 6 least significant bits represent the word. So this is about the first part of the numerical. We have seen it. The next part what it says. Calculate the number of bits in tag, block and word field that we have completed. Now what we need to do. Let's see. When a program is executed, the processor reads data sequentially from the following word addresses. Suppose these are my complete address. 128 bit address. 140 not 128 bit address. 128 is the address. 144 is the address like this these addresses are uh, referred by the processor then and it is given that these numbers are decimal numbers and assume that cache is initially empty cache was initially empty nothing was there in the cache so for all the blocks present in the cache valid bit was what zero for the above addresses we need to find out whether it will result in a hit or a miss so let's start Right. What we will do? This 128 we will represent in 16 bit because my memory address is 16 bit. So convert this 128 into 16 bit binary number. Right. That we will do. So see initially cache is empty. So therefore all the cache blocks are invalid. That means valid bit equal to 0 for all the blocks. How many blocks were there? We have seen just some time back. How many blocks? 32 blocks are there, right? So for all of them, valid bit is 0. Then 128, it is given in decimal number. We have expressed it in your binary number as a 16-bit number. Why 16-bit? Because we are using 16-bit addresses. Then see, in this 16-bit, we have divided into this 5-bit and here it is 6-bit and here 5-bit tag. So higher order 5-bits first will go as tag next 5 bit for block and next 6 bits for a word inside a block. So this 128 address will be mapped to block number this in the cache memory. So if I go for decimal for this number, what is this? 2. That means 128 go will go to block number 2 of the cache memory. Right? So initially all the blocks are what? Empty. So there is no question of matching tag. Valid bit is 0. That means what? It will be a miss. So 
initially the cache is empty so it will be a miss after miss what we will do we will bring this but the block containing this data item from the main memory into the cache where i will bring it into block number 2 of the cache and after bringing it whatever is the tag of this particular block that tag will be the tag for block number 2 in the cache memory please do understand after a miss i will get the block containing the data item this one from the main memory into the block number 2 of the cache memory and for that particular block tag will be set to all zeros why all zeros because for this address the tag was your all zero that means the block containing this data item will also have the block tag is your all zeros right so this much will do after this access tag field for cache block this one will be set to all zero so this far is understood next move on address 144 144 again we have expressed it in binary 16 bit again we have got the tag field 5 zeros block to this one so this particular address will be mapped to block number 2 of the cache right so we'll go and check block number 2 what we will check the valid bit equal to 1 yes it is 1 because in our last access we have made the valid bit equal to 1 for block number 2 in the cache memory right and the tag of my incoming address is what all five zeros as well as in the cache memory also for block number 2 tag field is what all zeros so it is a tag me sorry tag tag matching as well as valid bit is also one so what does it mean it is a hit for tag field of cache block 2 is what all zeros due to my last access and it will be a cache hit why because my incoming address tag is equal to the block number 2's block number 2's tag in the cache both are matching as well as valid bit is also equal to 1 so this is a hit anyways you can make out this is 144 that was 128 both will belong to the same block so it will be a hit next is 2176 express it in decimal binary we did it then tag is 1 block is 2 word is your all zero zero so 2176 this particular address will also be mapped to block number 2 of the cache memory because direct map cache right block number 2 now see for your incoming address what is the tag bit 401 and right now in the cache memory whatever block 2 is there for that the tag is all five zeros so it will be hit or a miss it will be obviously a miss why because my my tags are not matching right so as my tags are not matching so it will be a miss what i will do then i'll bring the block containing this data item into this block and i will set the tag to this one so now now on for block number 2 of the cache tag bit will be 00001 done the next is 2180 so again we did the same thing so it will also be mapped to block number 2 and its tag is what 1 and in my uh, block number 2 right now only i told you block number 2's tag is what also 1 so it will be a hit done the next is for address 128 128 we did this like the way we did before now this will be also mapped to block number 2 of the cache memory and right now in the cache memory for block number 2 what was the tag field value 401 and what is my incoming address tag it is all zeros so it is a tag miss right because they are the contender for the same position at a time only one block can be there so right now it was holding that 2176 2180s block now again 128 is referred so it will be a miss after this miss the tag will be all set to zero right then again 2176 has come so this time it will be again a miss because block number 2 is fine but it is tag is 1 but here my tag is zero so it will be a miss and after that the tag will be set to all 001 hope this numerical is clear in the next video i will bring some more numericals on direct map cache thank you